What's going on guys, Death Fishing here. Today, as you can tell by the title, we'll be custom designing a fishing rod out of wood and fishing with it. So we'll be doing this out of um, this pole right here and this pole right here, that's to be the main rod. Um, I'm gonna attach some guides with uh, this uh, wire right there. Make a reel out of these two and that and one of these dowels. Um, you know, it should be pretty good. I already uh, put a little hole here, but um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to attach some little uh, guides into this pole right here. To do that, I need to drill out little holes all along this and then uh, shove one of these little guides inside it and secure it with some glue. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've just finished drilling up these holes. So now I will attach the guides and then we can get to attaching the two dowels which we will use to make the rod. Okay, now I'll start uh, building my reel. To do that, I have these two pieces right here. So I'm gonna sand down this side and attach it on either side of this little board right here. Do the, both of these. Then I'm gonna get this dowel right here and I'm going to run it through each one of these with a um, hole that I'm gonna drill on each one of those. And then, um, yeah, I'll make a crank from there and uh, should work. You know, I, I forgot to mention that this is all my own design, so um, if it doesn't work, then maybe I'll look at some other people's. Okay, now I need to drill a hole in each of these to connect our dowel, which we'll use as the uh, spool of the reel. So I did a test hole in this one right here, and it turned out pretty well. It slides right on, just how it should. So I'm going to do that to both of these, and then it um, should be good to start gluing them together. Okay, so right here I kind of made the uh, spool. So right there, that little hole, I'm going to feed the line through. And um, this is going to go right like that. And then this other one right here is going to go on the other side of that. And then um, I'm going to leave a little space on this side to uh, kind of build the crank. Now I think I'm going to uh, get these guys, I'm going to glue them down, and then I'm also going to tape them for some extra uh, support. So, yeah, I'm going to use this electrical tape right here, right here, and yeah, I think it should be turning out pretty nice. The next day. Okay, so it is now the next day. I, um, overnight, I finished up this section of the reel right here, I added on the other side, and I made this little crank, which will put in right here like so and kind of turns like that so uh, now I'll just make some stuff to uh, secure this to this so it like doesn't wobble back and forth and uh, yeah the rod is uh, drying that's just behind me so um yeah after this we'll hopefully get to fishing Okay, so the reel is pretty much done, it just has to dry, so the crank is all attached. Made this little uh, wire guide for the line to come out. Uh, all that's really left is just for me to uh, attach the line to this, but I'll do that after it's all dried. So I'll just wait for this to dry, and then the rod to dry, and then I can attach it too, and then we should be good to fish. Seven hours later. Okay, I think this is pretty much dried. Now I'm just going to attach this line right here onto the reel. Okay, so the rod is now completely glued together, both parts. 
So I think I'm gonna drill like two more holes or so, two or three more holes on this side. And then I'll attach the reel right here to the end of that. Okay, so I attached these last two guides. Now, um, I think I'm gonna like sand down this part of the rod right here for like a flat surface to put this reel on. And then I'll probably like uh, tape it on too for some extra support and glue it. Okay, so I have the um, reel right here in position. Have this half of the rod, and the other half of the rod is right up here. So I think I just have to glue these all together, and then I'll be all good. Okay, guys, we're at the pond, and the rod is done. Put this guy down. Let's look it up. Here it is. Got the reel all the way up. I taped that as well as glued it for extra support all the way up we got a worm and a bobber on there just for like the first fish i could um go to like a more of like a bass lure you know okay there's a fish okay there we go be careful not to step on any of the line. And now, yeet. Okay, maybe not enough line. Let me see though. Okay. Let's see here. I'll try to fish these little pools right here first. Just like that. Let's see. Fish in that one? Nope. Okay, there's a fish over there. My fish. None right in there. Okay, there's a fish right there. Come on, buddy. Come on. And he is gone, skis. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on there, random little fish. It's a bluegill for the first one, even. Okay, maybe not. There's no fish in there. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Evening's supposed to be like, the best time to fish. Where are these dudes? Okay, I could literally see right there. Maybe that's not enough, but in it. Too visible. Okay. I think I need to make like a big old cast out there. If not, if I don't sight fish one of these guys. Huh. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, oh, there's a wake. Little blow up. Can we cast over here? Come on, fish. Perhaps not. Oh, oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold crap, hold crap. Get in the boat! Get in the freaking boat! That was a fish! What the heck is with this fish? Holy crap, look at this fish! 
Holy crap. Look at this fish's head. Oh my gosh, he like swallowed it. What the, oh, this poor little fish. Oh my gosh. On the fake rod though. Oh, could you get the pliers? Yeah. Really quick. The rod, the rod like snapped. But holy crap, there was a, oh my gosh.